Hey kids, I'm up on my neighbor Richard's roof here getting ready to shoot a video on uh, how to repair some shingles. I talked about it a couple weeks ago. The neighbors are probably looking at me right now wondering why I'm talking to myself, but uh, anyway, they're gonna have to get over it. Um, so basically what I did was I went through and inspected the roof. He said he had some shingles that were blowing up. Now these are an asphalt shingle and this is an older style three tab shingle and you know nowadays we don't use these much anymore um, these are an older shingle so basically what a shingle does is the way it's designed obviously is to keep water out of your house um, as the roof gets older the actual shingles themselves have little granules that give them color and as the roof gets older in age the granules start to wear off and you know eventually the roof breaks down um what's his problem is is we've had a lot of strong winds lately and uh the shingle right here lifted up so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna glue this back down for him and a couple weeks ago we talked about i did a video on roof sealants and you know things like that for roofs like tars that you can get for a caulking gun so i'm gonna go ahead and glue this shingle back down now the way these work is there's a tar strip right here, all right? And whenever you put the roof down and it heats up like today, it's pretty warm out today, what happens is these shingles stick down and basically this seal has broken. So, you know, if your roof still has some longevity to it, that's something that you can do. Now, anytime you're up on a roof, obviously you wanna be very careful. I'm not very high up. I was able to get up on this roof with a step ladder, but if you have a higher roof or a steeper roof, you know, you may want to call a roofer to do it just because it is dangerous. Um, so here's what I'm going to use. This is a little bit different than the uh, caulking that I, that I put on that video. My parents actually had the same thing happen at their house and I had to replace, actually take out and replace some shingles at their house. So that stuff was ridiculously hard to get out of that caulking tube. I even kept it inside. I don't know if it was old, but I'm hoping I have better luck with this stuff. This is a blackjack. I got this at Ace Hardware. It's an all weather roof cement and used for wet dry. That's one other, another thing. A lot of these are wet dry applications. So if you know you're, you do have um, a roof leak and you fix it and it rains you know, within a short amount of time, it's gonna help. It's not gonna go bad. It will, it'll work because it's wet dry. I haven't punctured this tube yet. On this caulking gun, I have a little thing here puncture the tube now listen when you do that try to keep your hands off of it because you get tar all over your hands so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to lift this shingle up now i'm just going to go right on that existing tar line all right i don't want to get roof sealant where you see it on the colored shingles i want to keep it back i want to get it on that tar line i don't want to make a goopy mess because when i go to push it down i don't want that to ooze out of there Oh boy, there it goes. I'm just gonna put a nice bead of this all the way down that shingle. I'm gonna let that pressure off that caulking gun because that that caulking is gonna continue to ooze out of there. So. You know, I usually keep a rag handy. I have one in my pocket. Now listen, when you get that done, just push that shingle back down. Listen, if you get any of that tar on your hands, one of the best things that gets it off there, if you have WD-40 at home, it'll actually get that tar off your hands. It works really, really good. Um, so that's something that you can do. You know, and there's any other little bad areas you see, like if you see exposed little nails, sometimes when they nail these cap shingles down at the top, they'll have exposed nails. Um, sometimes you can put a little bit of that. While I have this tube open, I'm gonna go around his roof. I'm gonna inspect everything to make sure that there's no other shingles like this. And when I'm done, hopefully that, you know, he'll get, he'll get a few more years out of this roof. You know, this roof, we've had, you know, hailstorms that have come through and stuff and this roof's missing a lot of granules. It's probably two to three years from getting replaced, but this will get him through those couple, three years. And uh, anyway, enjoy this sunny day we're having here. Get outside and do something. So I'll see you tomorrow.